Now to all of the jazz lovers out there, in just a few <laughs> short days, folks will once again had a chance to be in the room and witness a musical genius in action. Take a look. That is the one and only jazz legend, Wynton Marsalis, among those other talented musicians, musical ambassador, he's a mentor, he's an artistic director, the man does it all. Now, audience will once again be able to take in firsthand some of his incredible jazz performances along with the world-renowned Jazz at Lincoln Center Orchestra. Because they are back. Yes, this yes. Thursday, Jazz at Lincoln Center will open its homecoming season of live in-person performances at the Frederick P. Rose Hall here in New York City and here in studio with us, man. It is an absolute pleasure. Wynn Marshall hey. the man himself. Good it's, to see you. It's my pleasure. It's great to be seen. Thank you all for having me. I, I know you were sitting here. You were, you were listening as you were talking about uh, what to do in the, in the 50s and the health. He just had a 60th birthday. How'd yeah, man. I was listening. I was going off my checklist. <laughs> I, I wasn't too good on any of them. So I, I was, <laughs> it was very instructional. What did you get to do for your sake? I know it was a month ago. They're going to celebrate you this week, but uh, a few weeks ago was the birthday. What did you get to do? We, we played a concert in Berlin. Mm -hmm. Mm. And uh, we were on a tour of Europe. A uh, lot of successful, a lot of people, a lot of friends. You realize you're 60, when you see people, you taught uh, 40. Wow. So, wow. You know, it's, it's, it, it was beautiful, everything. And they just won't be um, celebrating opening night on Thursday. They're also, as TJ said, going to be celebrating your birthday. Right. And right. your 60th birthday, which is 60 is the new 40. Right. Well, you know, Don't worry about that. But it was the new 20. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> that too. But you, you've been playing the trumpet since you were six. Yeah, a wow. long time. So, and you played all over the world. Um, some of the most um, uh, amazing things I'm sure you've seen. But what has been, is there any one that stands out? Um, no, it just, uh, everything, the opportunity to be a part of people's lives. See so many parents with their kids come backstage uh, to teach. So many times the parents will get full and the kids. I, it's 11.30 after a gig. I'll say, is that your mama? Is that your, your, your brother, cousin, your daddy? And they'll say, oh, that's my mama. I say, it's 11.30. And they, they're still up here waiting for you to, to get a lesson. I want you to, to remember that. And as you get older, it, it takes on more and more meaning. And they have that opportunity and, and to play with great musicians. You know, yeah, some blessed. people say you single-handedly uh, had a role in the arts and for, for transforming in a lot of ways how people think about jazz in this country. Where are we in the arts, would you argue, for, for the support for the arts, or whether it's government, whether it's funding, yeah. or just the interest that you're seeing out there with kids and parents? Very low. Well, low. You know, right. the, the ki kids would take whatever you teach them. Mm -hmm. But we've chosen over the years to treat them as a commercial wow. body that you sell things to. Mm -hmm. And one day we'll mature to the point that we understand you have to nurture kids and you have to invest. Mm -hmm. We're good with business. We're not good with the, with the investment part of civics, of our whole, of our whole uh, so, so our way of life and we will mature eventually I don't know if I'm gonna be here when we do that but I think that we will understand that we have to you have to invest to take out everything is not a, a business opportunity wow. what's it gonna be like though we've talked to so many uh, actually actors on Broadway and performers like that first night that reopening to finally be back <laughs> after the pandemic some of them can't we can't even keep them in the seats when they come over here and talk to us about that reopening what's that gonna be like you on know, Thursday it, yeah, it's, it's emotional for us because it's yeah. our hall yeah. We built it, we, we have inhabited it. It's called the House of Swing. It's emotional, but we've been playing, so we won't, we won't have that experience that you haven't played in front of people. But to be home, it's like you walk in your house after a long time away. It's gonna be <laughs> soulful, you know? And, and, and we're gonna be there. There's so many people cannot wait for this, and it is on Thursday night. Went Marsalis, hey. thank you. The legend's in the house. Thank, thank you for being with us today, my friend. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much, and thank y'all. And if you can't make it over to Lincoln Center to cast the reopening night, Wenton at 60 will be available on live stream on November 18th. I saw that move you did when I said at 60. That's the name of it. Wenton at 60, 60 being the new 20, will be available on live stream on November 18th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time and on demand until November 25th. Wenton, thank you again. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.